Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to take care of your ladies on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll give a couple of tips that'll be random. We're gonna be running back and forth, back and forth. If we're talking to you, we'll be here. If we're dancing, we're over here. So one of the biggest things that we want to do to take care of our ladies while we're dancing bachata bing, is to not put them through a series of crazy gymnastic dips and crazy tricks Please. on the dance floor. Yeah, so for some reason, I have a feeling that girls are leaving the clubs. He doesn't have a feeling. He knows it. <laughs> it's real. A, a lot of ladies are waking up with back pains out of the club. They're walking like this Neck out of the club up. after a bachata night. They're in pain because of all the stuff going on. I literally don't go social dancing as much as I used to because I know my back's going to hurt on the way home and probably the next day because I just feel like I'm treated like Gumby, like I don't have a spine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a lot of things happening, Bachata. There's a lot of sensual moves, like the sensual movement happening right now where there's a lot of things like neck rolls and just dips Crazy in general. Dips. dips has always been in salsa and Bachata. But now it's but just there's all the so time. much movement and things and maneuvers that we're putting the girls through that's just non-stop and they have to do that with one person then they dance another song with another person then with another person and halfway through the night half of those people are probably doing these movements wrong or not the they don't have all the tech uh, the technique behind it so you're probably putting your body through different things in different ways and even if somebody does do it the right way it's just, just doing much, it again often. and again and again throughout a whole night it's turning bachata into like a painful dance rather than something enjoyable from what it actually came with. Yeah. Again, this video is not to say like only dance Dominican or only no. dance urban, only dance sensual. It's not a video to bash on any type of style. It's more of respecting the the followers body yeah. and not putting them through so much things, especially if you don't know how to lead it correctly. I would agree with that because there's a lot of beautiful sensual moves that don't require to the girls to literally half bend backwards all the time, multiple times. We can just dance. Yeah. So I think that the mix, the, the weird stuff happens because of, um, performances and and Instagram videos where these people put on basically a show, right? Like, oh, this is so impressive, so cool, and it's so inspirational, which is great. It's wonderful. I love those videos. But that doesn't mean that it's appropriate to do on the social dance floor as a casual thing because the girls are dancing for sometimes three, four hours. So it's not, you know, a three minute video or a clip that someone practiced for before and they're just executing once, right? It's repeated multiple times. So it, beco it becomes painful to feel like we're literally in a gymnastics routine when we're just going out on a weekend to have a little bit of fun. So I think back when I started dancing, dips were like a finisher, like the song was over and you do a beautiful dip to finish. And not everybody would even do that. It was like a specialty thing or it hit the right part of a song. So it felt like it, ma it made sense, right? And now yeah. it's just. I saw another video like a long time ago that kind of touched on this. It's just like, if, if there's a professional dancer being filmed, they're smart about it. They, they know they're gonna be, they're gonna, that's gonna be posted on YouTube or Facebook. So they're gonna give you a show while somebody's recording them. But a lot of those dancers don't dance like that the whole time if a, a camera's not on them. They enjoy the bachata, they, they, they don't have to resort to super, super flashy moves. They enjoy the dance and they do things in their own way. But a lot of the things that you see when somebody's being filmed is because if you're smart and these, a lot of people are professional, like, okay, I'm gonna give them a show um, and do a little bit more cool things. And it markets you in a way where it's like, oh, like these are amazing moves yeah. and they look so styly. But even those dancers <laughs> don't do that the whole time because they love the bachata. That's what they started with. And they have their own flow that can keep it chill. But people don't see the chill part of it. They just see the flashy, flashy. I'm like, okay, that's bachata. I gotta do that too. I gotta, oh, damn, ah. damn. Let's do this and crack her back at the same time and then come back this way. <laughs> and then after that, let's do a neck roll uh. now and do it this way and let's do it in reverse and like body roll, it's body just roll, too much. body roll, follow oh by my. dip, dip, dip. Right when we say don't do this, this is like, Exactly Guys, what not to do. It's crazy. Imagine doing that for three minutes and then doing it with another person again for the next three minutes and then doing that for a whole night. Yeah. yeah. 
a lot of cracks happening back here is no good neck braces are going to be involved the next day remember to take care of your girls don't put them through a crazy series of things back to what she was saying at the end bachata just like anything music has like a story you don't have to attack like if you want to follow the, the a form of a story a movie or a book they're gonna give you a nice intro slow yeah they'll ease you into something then you'll start doing some things to kind of pick it up in the middle you'll have like the climax the, the bump and like the the funk and then usually some things will die down going towards the resolution and then it'll give it a nice finish a happy ending yeah this is a good way to start off your dancing especially if you're dancing with somebody for the first time you don't want to jump to the super super climax right like the middle of a movie like and do all your super crazy ninja moves right there from the very start or or the whole time sometimes it's just like it just feels like one of those action films that never stop it kind of reminds me, what is it? Is it um, Transformers, like three or something? It was just like, action, 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 the whole time. You're just like, holy moly. Like, do, there's not that feeling of, you yeah. know, a storyline. So use that to your advantage. Usually a song will start off nice and slow. Usually the artists don't even start singing right away. They'll give you some type of instrumentals in the beginning. Even Central, um, Central Bachata, they'll start off with a nice intro. Just and start so it off nice and slow, nice and simple. Yes, yeah, you're going to get tempted to do all this craziness like right in the beginning. But again, it can be a little bit overkill, especially when the girls are doing it so much throughout the whole night. So start off with something simple. And then when the song actually starts, the bongo picks in, the bachata starts, and the artist is singing. Use this, like our style is, we do mix urban and sensual. If it's like an urban song or sensual-ish song, um, this is not talking about Dominican, because if a Dominican song is on, we'll just mainly resort to footwork and a little bit of combos here and there. But the way we like to dance, this is just our style, is we incorporate urban modern bachata, which is turn patterns and figures and loops sprinkled in with a little bit of sensual bachata when the music actually asks for it or and if it slows down later. Yeah. So when the music, once we're here, like the intro is just finished and the music starts, this is just our advice especially if you're dancing with somebody for the first time start off and see what they're capable of doing especially if you're a lead be aware of the follows and see okay let me see how she reacts to turns cool she can do turns let me see how she reacts to just different loops yeah and you can do this in your own way right now i'm, ke I'm keeping it stale and plain but you want to start seeing experimenting what can the follows do what looks good for her what does she feel comfortable with if you're dancing with somebody for the first time let's just do like beginner's sake and you give her a turn and it goes well cool i can pretty much turn her out throughout the whole dance let's see okay let me try a loop and i start a loop and she starts fighting like she doesn't know really know how to loop like left or right don't give her a loop throughout that whole dance that means she's probably not exposed to that loop our goal as a leader is should always be to make the follows look good feel good feel sexy feel spicy and look good from the outside of the dance. Yeah, if we make them look good, we look good, we enjoy that dance, and everybody keeps dancing bachata. Yeah, and look good doesn't mean all the crazy stuff we were talking about. Look good means she looks comfortable dancing with you, doing moves that she looks good doing. So it doesn't mean like bachata circus, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's it, one example. So if she can't do loops, I'm not gonna force a loop on her. Does that make sense? And then I'm see, okay, let me see how she reacts to different things like a cross body lead. I'm like, okay, cool. Now I can combine turns because she was able to do that and I can combine it with cross body leads and i start building my moves from there i and again it doesn't have to be exactly that the whole time you can change it up and do it in your own way so it's different with every other person but when you dance with somebody else you're going to be like okay let me dance with her she's good with the loops and then i'm going to go to turn her and then she does something else, so she goes the opposite way. Again, I'm using beginner examples. I'm not doing like intermediate because you can go a different route. So if it was somebody starting off, I'm not, okay, she was uncomfortable with that turn. I'm not gonna turn her the whole time. I'm like, okay, I'll just do basic rotations, keep it nice and chill. I can do loops because every time I looped her, she was okay. And I can do just simple stuff. And then I'm like, okay, she couldn't turn, but I'll just to change it up, I'll do a turn and then bring her here. You gotta put yourself in a position where you can adapt to the girl and not force things 
on her that she's not comfortable doing because that's how injuries can happen. Again, if it's not an injury, it's just going to be an unpleasant vibe. dance for the girl. Yeah. 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 It just creates weird tension when, you know, if you're, you're kind of like, did I mess up? Did he mess up? Did he lead me wrong? And it starts to get uncomfortable if there's too many mistakes. Um, you, you just don't know. And then sometimes if the girl messes up, the guys move. Sometimes the guy can like act a little grumpy about it. And we're like, sorry, you know, so you just try to do things where there's the least amount of room for mess ups and tension. So you just keep it smooth and easy and fun. Yeah. When you go into a more intermediate level or improving beginner, you're going to have different moves that you have or, or know. Moves. For example, okay, let me do a basic toss, for example. So if I have the hand here, I'm like, let me do something that kind of just tosses on its own and let me see how she reacts. And I'm like, okay, cool. She can do tosses. That means I can do some more like ninja toss turns and go crazy with it. So that's another way I can yeah. experiment and not, I'm not going to force tosses on her and like she does this and like she keeps the arm here and that's going to cause some pain if she's not exposed to different type of um, tosses. Yeah. And then the more you go up, um, if you're doing central, I'm gonna do a basic neck roll here first. I'm like, okay, she can do a neck roll. So that means I can do some crazy stuff. I can do a cross body lead with a neck roll, or I can do a double turn neck roll, whatever. You take it up in notches. Yeah, but again, you don't have to go overkill and do it throughout the whole dance. Same thing if I'm here. Once you get to know a follower too, you can, you kind of like already assessed it, you're good. Yeah, and I'm giving different examples just so you can see it in different ways. I'm, I hope this helps just so you can see. So if I'm dancing with somebody, I can go here, whatever. I'll just start with the basic dip for now without a turn, do it nice and slow. And I'm like, okay, she's cool with that. Maybe later throughout the whole dance, I can do a double turn with the crazy, like different type of dip and different things, but I'm not gonna resort to the crazy one right away. You have to see what's good for her, what's comfortable for her before you start doing like the level three version of a move. Yeah, moves have like levels, like there's like a basic level of that move, then like a medium, and then it just goes crazy after that. Yeah, and remember, keeping in mind that the first tip that we gave you was, even though you have a bunch of crazy moves and you're doing the test, doesn't mean you have to do them all in the same dance. Like you could do it one and then let's say five songs later, you're gonna dance with the same girl. Then you try that more complicated one maybe then. So you don't feel like you have to cram all the crazy stuff into one. It's nice when someone reserves the crazy, the crazy, like the fun, like more complicated stuff for, and they sprinkle it in, then it feels more appropriate than just someone just all the time. Yeah, so tip number one, if you wanna call it this, don't attack the girls throughout the whole song going like dip after dip after dip after neck roll, neck roll, body roll, body roll, body roll, neck roll, neck roll, neck roll. Like give some time in between, throw a basic in between there. Um, nice Just turns. nice figures, nice turn patterns. Then do something cool here and there. And if you wanna follow that format that we said, it has its intro. Do your moves, your figures and patterns. Sprinkle in a little cool thing here and there. Once the music is in the middle of a song, just Double naturally turn. in the middle of anything, there's going to be excitement here. There's going to be funk. This is where you can do like your cool stuff, but stuff that's true to you, stuff that you've been practicing, stuff that you know with technique. Don't just watch your videos. You're like, oh, that's a cool ninja move. Let me try it on the dance floor with somebody that I've never done this before and possibly hurt her in the process. Yeah, you want to use that for stuff you that know, you already your know. solid moves. If there's moves that you need to practice, take lessons, take classes, pull somebody aside. Hey, like I learned this cool move in class. Can I try this with you? Do that multiple times until you have it down. Um, and then you can add this to what you do like in the middle of a song. Then when the song starts dying out, go back to your figures and oh. patterns, chill stuff, and then finish with a nice little dip at the end if it's like a smooth ending. So you don't have to do well. like a dip here, 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 here. Yeah. And make sure you know how to do the dip well. Yeah, make sure she's comfortable. Make sure it's, again, like he said, not something you just learned once and then you're just trying on the dance floor. You know, like you don't... Think about the dance floor as like a performance or a competition in the sense that you really prepare well for the 
the competition and you for your performance. You don't do it a couple times, go to a few classes, and then bang, you perform or compete, right? You you learn it and you practice the hell out of it before you ever bring it to a stage. And think about it the same, the social dance floor the same way. You practice, 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 then you try it on the dance floor. So you've learned it in class, you practice it in class, you've maybe pulled a, a friend aside and practiced then, or like he said, you ask someone, you prepare them, hey, this is a new move, can I just try this really quick? I have people do that all the time with me and I respect that they give me a heads up and they don't just try something that they really shouldn't be trying full force, full speed, right? Then once like you've done that enough times and it goes well 99% of the time, that's when you can try it just in another part of the song without necessarily like, heads up, this is new, right? But be, you know, care for the lady, care that you're not just trying all this stuff or else all the ladies are going to disappear and we're not going to have anybody to dance with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just a, a second thing, you can use a series of moves or test moves to gauge where your partner is at. So you make sure um, you're leading things that she's capable of doing. So she looks good and she feels secure and comfortable by the end of the dance, like the examples that I was giving back here. Yeah, not just jumping straight to your um, ninja moves. Yeah. yeah. And then the last one, I think he's the last one, unless he has another one. <laughs> another one is gauging your partner's level and dancing at their level. So this is a, for a guy to a girl. It's kind of similar to the last one, but it's not at all. It has its... Yo, I DJ. So I, I, I'm just sorry I interrupted because I see this of what she's talking about a lot. Like when I'm DJing, I see some guys that have been dancing for a while and it's just there's people that are dancers and then there's also people that probably wouldn't be even watching these videos that just go to the club and they're just like they don't care have they fun they don't fun. care they grab a drink and then just like they're as a regular well there will be a complete beginner she's probably there for her first time or maybe third time yeah. and let's dance and they're here super close and like Bang. Blah, 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 blah. body movement all she's flying all over like this, they, they, they're barely like they can barely turn or even do their bachata basic and you're exposing them to all this stuff and that's gonna leave a bad taste in many people's like mouths and they probably won't come back and it's just that's how people get scared and injured and it's not a good thing to do so you always want to respect that and just dance to people's level. Yeah, so guys, it does not matter what level you are. It does not matter what moves you can lead. You have to properly assess the experience level of the ladies. And it's not about how long they've been dancing. It's literally about like how they lead and follow the tension in their arms. If you push on their arm, does it just collapse? You know, when you're doing body movement, she start kind of doing this and it's just like a wobble, you know, instead of a controlled movement, there's not, it's not insulting. You have to assess that kindly, not judging, just assess it and do moves that are appropriate for her level. Even if you know how to do harder stuff, don't do it. She's not ready for it. She doesn't know how to do it. Yeah. So I think guys think, uh, uh, I learned this intermediate move and it doesn't work on the dance floor half the time. It's like, well, did you do it with a beginner who is just starting? Like, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter how good you are at leading that. She doesn't know the cues yet, right? She's still inexperienced. So know the level and dance at her level, not at your level. If you want to do like a little, um, freestyle and spin and you're on your own, you kind of want to like go off for a little and do your own thing. Fine. Do that. But don't expect her to do your level when she's not there yeah sorry if we're ranting rambling we got a lot to say <laughs> but it's just a lot of the uh, things that we see a lot of things that people are telling us in terms of even leads mainly from the follows because a lot of follows are voicing that they're getting hurt they're getting exposed through different things and moves that are just leaving them the next day like in pain and it's like this is just gonna mm -hmm. add up and it's just gonna like destroy somebody's body in the long run um, versus keeping people safe on the dance floor happy um, and happy yeah um, two little bonuses is making sure you're respecting the area around you while you're dancing with a partner especially if you're dipping the girl and doing things and you're not aware that there's like a dancer right here and you dip somebody's head into somebody else's head mm -hmm. or if there's like a table or a chair on this side don't think like once you start dancing, like the world is gone and you can do whatever you want. You gotta always, as a leader, make sure you're aware of your atmosphere around you so you're always protecting the girl, yeah? Even if like you're doing moves like this and you're doing a, a cuddle position and you're walking forward, 
By the time you're going back, somebody can probably invade that slot, yeah? So sometimes you can bump somebody going back or if you're doing a dip and you're doing something here, there's so many things that can happen in a split second that happens right here where you're gonna dip her, where you're gonna put her head. So always be aware of your surrounding um, to protect the girls. Yeah, and then ladies, you can be nice and kind of watch the guys back too. Sometimes things happen. He's checked, but then all of a sudden it happens. So we can also be aware of his back and kind of if someone's coming at him, kind of guide him a little bit forward. But we should both be always kind of having spatial awareness and understanding that like a lot of action is happening and we always have to watch where our arms are going so we don't poke someone in the eye or watch where our feet are so we don't step or kick anybody. Especially I see that with dips, some ladies will go and they just lift their leg kind of willy nilly. They don't really think about it and they kick someone. Yeah, so just don't little do kicks, don't do crazy stuff and have spatial awareness. Last little bonus. This one is not, not much of a safety thing but it's more I guess of respect for the girls is how close you're dancing to somebody, especially if you're dancing with them for the first time. See what she's comfortable with. When you guys start dancing, you can start in open position and see how that feels, yeah? When you guys do a turn or anything, you can bring her into um, what we call close, close position, where it's not, we're not super, super close, but we are in a little bit of a closer position and say, okay, right here, she's responsive, she likes it, or not Not that she likes it, but she she's not she's creating not resistance or anything, and we, so that means we can do moves in this position. But there's also what we call central position, um, where we come in a little bit closer and we're touching, yeah? And if I feel resistance here, or her backing away, maybe her boyfriend's around the corner watching, or maybe she's just uncomfortable, maybe the guys could probably be a little bit too sweaty. There's a lot of scenarios that could be here in this scenario where she might feel uncomfortable, so I'm not gonna force her in this um, position, especially guys, if they're like, this is where all your central moves uh, lie, yeah, yeah. and this is you have all your nice combinations here. Don't force it upon her, especially if she's resisting, because again, that's gonna cause restriction, it's gonna cause injury if you're forcing somebody that's resisting movement um, on one of your moves that you know. But say, for example, if I do put her in central position, I'm only gonna be here. As a test, I'm like, let me see how she responds. That's how I see if she's okay. And then I'm gonna back away. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna He's stay in. there. The first time I do that, I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's attack and let's do all this ninja stuff. See how she responds. And I'm like, okay, she was okay with that. That means I can probably get in here again. I can do a basic. I can do different moves here. I can probably stay a little bit longer. Just do something simple here. And then I'm gonna get out of it, yeah. Especially Test with central water. bachata, a lot of people get in this thing and they just stay there the whole time. We're not even doing a basic step. It's just move after move after move after neck row after neck row after dip and boom, come back and like, oh, so nasty, so good. Give it little bits. See what she's comfortable with before you're doing all of those ninja moves, especially in a closed position. Some girls aren't comfortable with that. Some are, but again, respect that space also even as they are like just do something for four counts and eight counts and like two counts not eight, eight counts of eight literally eight counts one two three four five six seven eight like yeah eight counts, so seven, again seven. that's almost like the earlier example just ease your way into things just don't assume if you're if you've danced with somebody obviously before and they were comfortable with it before and you guys have good dances ignore this part, but this is especially if you're dancing with somebody new for the first time. Yeah, I mean, when I first started, when I first saw Bachata, I literally said, ooh, get a room. <laughs> because it was so close. Like for what I had ever seen people dancing, it was too close for me. But then I started dancing. Some people would dance, but they just keep it more like partner work. And it was fine with me. I liked it. I liked the dance, but close was really too close for me. And then obviously now, <laughs> I have no problem with it, but it took me a while. It took me a while to warm up. I mean, the first time someone told me to do a booty roll, like, you know, hips back, I was like, oh no, you know, like it was, too, it was embarrassing. I giggled, it was too much for me. So you always have to remember, it takes people time to warm up or they might not warm up. It might always be just a boundary of, I don't really know you, I'm not gonna get that close. So sense that and have that, that um, awareness of how that person's, doing, right? It might not have anything to do with you as a person and it's just them. It's just their comfort level, how they're feeling. Yeah. So that's another great tip is just, you know, awareness of your partner. Yeah. We hope this video helped 
we can make this video a two hour yeah. uh, video and also tips on how to fix each, um, each thing and the workarounds. But again, we talk about a lot of the stuff on our online course, um, but this is just an overview for anybody coming in and watching this video. Hopefully um, we helped in some of the things, maybe you're making this mistake and you didn't even know it was a mistake to begin with. Yeah. There's always ways to adapt and make uh, the dance a lot more enjoyable for your partner, for each other, but mainly working on the follow safety just so we're not injuring our partners, especially from some of the topics that we discussed in the beginning of this video. Yeah. So we hope this helped. Let us know in the comments if you're guilty of any of these. Especially if you're a follower. Let the leaders know what have yeah. you experienced? What are some of the things? Did we touch on stuff that's actually happening? Like let tell us, us know. in the comments below. Like let so we can create like some things and we even make a we can possibly make other videos based on what you guys discussed below. But it's really, really good if some of the ladies um Voice say what's actually truth happening in terms of like safety like some of the things guys are doing through you that's making the um the dance in unenjoyable is that a word unenjoyable I know. my english is not very good looking um but yeah comment below give us your opinions on what you think and what you've been experiencing and we'll see you guys in the next video like and subscribe dimitri Bing. nicole here bachata dance academy we'll see you guys in the next video